So when I saw Toy Story, that was the first time I ever saw anybody get the skateboard off the ground. There's a scene in the movie where Sid is skating home at night, he gets up to the curb, jumps up, and then pops the board into his hand like that. And when I saw that, my mind was blown. Because there was a skateboard at my house, but every time I tried to use it, I could barely ride it on the ground. So I had no clue that you could get it up in the air. So the next day, I went home, and I was super excited to try what he did. I skated up to my curb, tried to jump up it, woohoo! But my board couldn't come with me. And I was so confused. And that's where science starts. It's where you have a question. So today we're doing uh, skateboard science. Uh, we work for a company called Wonder G. It's a science education company based out of Philadelphia. Uh, we like to show the kids that science is all around them and that it's in a lot of activities that they might not have thought about before. Uh, we just want to get kids excited about the world around them and uh, want to question everything um, because that is what science is. So as long as we can get them excited to learn and question things, that's exactly what we want to do. I think that they're able to see that science is all around us and that you use it every day and then they're able to ask more questions and be exploitative and to see more of science in their own lives when they're at home and at school. I think a big problem a lot of kids have is uh, not realizing why they're learning the things they're learning and when they're able to see it applied directly right in front of them uh, that makes them realize that there is a use to all the stuff that they're learning so when we talk about physics and are able to skate and do tricks that apply to the exact science that we're talking about. That just shows that uh, what they're learning does matter and it is part of the world that they live in. So if I fall down, instead of trying to catch myself with both my wrists and stopping short, all that force would just go into one spot. So when I fall, instead of trying to catch myself, I'm going to do my best to either run it out or if I hit the ground, to slide or to roll. I think the biggest thing in the classroom that we can do is make sure that they are asking questions. Seeing things that, in all aspects of their life, even in the classroom, that could be done differently, or things that could help society and help them at home, and be asking those questions and seeing what they can do, and that's that scientific process. And we're teaching that every day, and not just in science, but in all aspects of school. And that is how the more questions we ask of them, and they ask of us, that we can be adding that to their lives. A lot of the time, uh, they really like to jump at the end. Uh, we talk about how the ollie works, uh, which is when you just make the board jump in the air with you. Uh, we usually have a teacher lay down, and we jump over the teacher at the end. That usually gets them pretty excited. Uh, but we also lay down on a bed of nails in the beginning. Uh, they usually get pretty excited about that. We, that's talking about how distribution of force works, uh, which is how helmets keep us safe. Uh, and that's also another part that the kids usually get pretty excited about. It's super awesome. These guys are so cool. And I hope that other schools are able to see this. It's really awesome.